everybody, my name is Jo and I love to read. Today I'm going to be doing subscribers pick my next reads. So I had two lovely subscribers pick what I'm going to be reading next. In my April wrap up I asked for a bit of a call out from subscribers if they ended up watching towards the end to give me a number that was going to correspond with a book on my scant physical TBR shelf to tell me what I should read next because I'm just feeling a little bit like I don't know like I can be such a mood reader and the choices are getting smaller and smaller so I just wanted a little bit of guidance and a little bit of help from them and now I'm going to open up my laptop and see what number and what it correlates to and I'm excited to see because I obviously read their number in their comment but I didn't come here and have a look at what books we're also joined here by Cooper He's such a cute little bean. My first commenter was Rosie Cockshut and she actually has her own channel so I'll leave a link down below. I've probably talked about it before and things but she's really friendly, always comments on my videos and she also does really interesting videos herself. So go and check her out. She picked number seven. So let's turn around and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Ruby Circle. You know what? I'm quite excited about this actually because I've just finished the previous book in this series. This is the last one and I'm actually pretty excited to see what's going to happen. And David Wiley was my next subscriber that picked, or my, and my last one, that picked a number book for me. I've just discovered as well that David has a channel too. He's just started. He's got three videos out so I'll leave a link down below to his channel and he book picked book number three for me. So let's count and see what that's going to be. One, two, three. Little Thoroughbred Books, Cindy's Last Hope, number 54, which I have been thinking about reading as well. So those are the two books that I've got, both within series that I have started. I, hmm, yes, I think I will read Cindy's Last Hope first and then jump into the Ruby Circle. And let me tell you, you know that this series is good, or I know it's good, when I can contemplate reading three of their books within, like, a couple of month period and not be bored at all. They are so easy to read and so engaging. They're in the Vampire Academy world, so the love interest is a vampire and the main character is a human. They're both kind of main characters now actually because we get things from his perspective now as of the last couple of books. But they're really great um, because the human actually belongs in the first book. This is sort of the thing is that she belongs to an organization of humans that cleans up after vampires and keeps things hidden. But not because the humans love the vampires but because they want to protect the rest of the world from the vampires. So there's a lot of kind of the main character trying to go like learn that these vampires in this series actually can be good people and not to judge them as an entire race and this is the last book so things are really really hectic and crazy and I am really really looking forward to finishing up this series and then the thoroughbred book it's got a kind of Cindy is a bit of a whingy man character so I'm not super looking forward to it but it's one again that I do want to read because I want to read the entire thoroughbred series I'm kind of Maybe halfway there, maybe that's my next thing that I'll look at how far through I am of the series because I just, whenever I see them secondhand, I'll just buy them so they're all out of order. It's like a middle grade series so it doesn't really matter what order I read them in. I'm hoping that this plot will be okay but Cindy, this main character, is not one of my fun ones. It does go through the series, goes through all these different main characters and yeah, unfortunately Cindy's one that I don't really enjoy so I'll see. Maybe this book will prove me wrong. But this one is the one that I'll be reading first. And then I'll be reading The Ruby Circle. Don't forget to check out my reading vlogs because they are the most up-to-date way to see how I'm reading. I also do have a Storygraph account, so I'll leave it down below. But thank you so much to Rosie and David for watching to the end of my video, my wrap-up the other day, and deciding, helping me decide what I should read because it is, it's getting really difficult to decide. These books have stayed on my shelf for a long time because I enjoyed them but they're also not like the best of the best because otherwise I would have read them first like do you get what I mean but I still want to I was looking at it and trying to assess do I want to unhaul anything but I don't and I think mainly as well I was a bit sad because the High Lord didn't end up I mean the High Lord was great but because of the ending it was quite sad and I was always kind of slumpy I was still kind of getting over the book so it's pretty um everything's looking more appealing now but I'm glad that someone has made the choice for me I didn't realize that there's kind of like a color thing with that that's funny yeah <laughs> that's so funny but yeah I'm, I'm glad to have some direction with my shelf and help me speed along on my goal. I'm still as of today um ahead with my stretch goal which was crazy 
I was aiming for end of August but I am ahead by I think about 200 pages for my end of June stretch goal so I might have it finished quicker than I expect which is crazy because it's the start of May now like to think that in two months so May and then at the end of June I'll be I'll be done it's just like it's crazy but I'm so excited so thanks everybody that's been cheering me along I'm gonna end this video now otherwise it's just gonna be me continuing to blab along I hope everybody's having a great day I hope that you're having a lovely Mother's Day as well if you celebrate Mother's Day in in your life give your mum a big hug for me and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye